Since I finished, I took, well, I mean, I took a month off to go home and decompress and pack and all that good stuff. Um, but then I moved to D.C. and I started working with um, the Washington Post Newsweek Interactive, which is part of the Washington Post company, but houses all their interactive, you know, they own NewsweekSlate.com, so it houses all of their web websites, basically. Um, and I've been working on their um, hyper-local initiatives, um, specifically loudandextra.com, um, doing a lot of web production and also some reporting. Um, you know, I've been able, I've really been lucky, I've been able to get a lot of experience in only a month. I did, you know, I've covered a homicide and I did a big elections package that included, you know, audio and video and some interactive mapping. Um, but I've also, you know, really learned their content management system and, and learned the day-to-day -day aspects of, you know, writing breaking news stories and figuring out what to cover and how to involve the community. And there's going to be a lot more opportunity for that in the future um, as they re-examine, you know, exactly what they're going to be using the site for and how they want to drive their local coverage. Um, so there's going to be a lot of opportunity for me now to have a voice in how they do that. So it's pretty exciting. <laughs> The paper at, the, at this moment seems very committed to their local coverage. They consider themselves a local paper. Um, so I think it's just re-examining the foundation that Rob laid down and deciding where to go from there and how to make the best product and the best sustainable product um, possible. Because these sites take a lot of manpower. So, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of examining what he's done and you know, how they can improve upon it and, and where they want to go from there. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty, but that's what, kind of what makes it exciting to be able to be a part of that decision-making process. When I first came to school, I mean, I'm from a really small town and really small high school, and, um, you know, it was a good school and everything, but it's, I just... I only decided to be like to go to journalism school like maybe two years before. It wasn't. I've wanted to write my whole life, but journalism was only something I'd recently been interested in. And I was, I mean, I guess maybe I'm still kind of sh not shy. I just don't always talk a lot. But I was really shy when I first came here. And within the first couple quarters, you know, going to classes and really going to the ONA conference was a huge point in time and, and starting speakeasy and getting involved. Um, you know, from that first year on, like, I, I, maybe it was the environment, the atmosphere here, but it was kind of like, there's nothing you can't do. <laughs> you know, that's kind of cliche, but it was, you know, you see all these opportunities here, and it's just kind of, over the four years, it just, you know, it didn't seem impossible that something like that, you know, I, I you know, believe that when I graduated, I would have a choice, of a good choice of places to go and things to do, so... I wouldn't say I would have thought I would be walk, working for the Washington Post, but, you know, after the first year, it was kind of like, you know, anything could happen. Bob Benz is my savior. Um, <laughs> he was great, and he's one of those people that, you know, when I was talking about contacts earlier, you know, just people like that being connected with the school and, and putting an investment in the school um, just was so great. You know, he helped me you know, get my first internship by recommending me and passing along my resume to someone. And, you know, with Speakeasy, it's just been constant, like, he's been our cheerleader <laughs> the whole time and just always willing to, you know, take us down there and, sh you know, show us the Script Net Network's headquarters and, and let us meet with professionals. And he was just an invaluable asset. And, I mean, that's the type of, you know, context that I, you know, was hoping to make when I came here, so... I did the foodnetwork.com. I did uh, between sophomore and junior year, and then I did uh, a two-week internship with the Columbus Dispatch that winter. And then last summer, I did. I worked three days a week at American Express Publishing, uh, doing production for food and wine and travel and leisure magazines. And then the other two days of the week, I worked at Media Bistro doing editorial work there. So those are the four internships. Scoop Away uh, has just kind of been an initiative that came out of two students, uh, one at Yale and one at uh, Andover, which is a boarding sc high school in Massachusetts. And the announcement was in Scripps Notes. Um, and I'm really glad I pay attention to Scripps Notes because you, <laughs> you learn a lot from just re like peeking through it. Um, and, you know, I, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was something I wanted to be involved in, so I wasted no time 
bugging the crap out of them, you know, with my ideas and how excited I was about it. And they brought me on, and it's just been a really great experience. You know, it's all volunteer work, but sometimes you have to do that. You know, if it's something you really want to do, it's worth it. Um, and I've just met so many great students across the country, you know, working with them on, on covering the election and, and editing. The, I've gotten so much experience editing just by editing other people's stories and, and talking to other students who have had editing experience and learning from them as well because we'll edit stories together sometimes. And so those type of connections, I think, are an example of one of the great things about, you know, online journalism and having that virtual newsroom and, and being able to make connections across countries. You know, we have people reporting from South Korea and Ireland, and so it's been a really, really great experience. Um, and I hope it continues on after the election. <laughs>